Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. For this demo, we are going to use two tables with a basic structure. The first table is the team table. There are two columns in the team table, ID, which is the primary key, and name, which is the name of the team. The other table is the fan table. This table has three columns, ID, which is the primary key, name, which is the name of the fan, and team ID, which is the ID of the fan's favorite team. This column also has a foreign key relationship with the ID column in the team table. Let's take a look at the data in each of these tables. We run select star from team to show all the data in the team table. Here, we can see that the data consists of professional sports teams. Next, we run select star from fan. This will show us the name of our fans and the ID of their favorite sports team. There are some fans who have not yet chosen a favorite team. So the team ID column for those rows is null. In this diagram, the blue circle represents the data in the team table, while the orange circle represents the data in the fan table. In an outer join, we want to return all the data from one table and the matching data from another table, but only when a certain condition is met. In this example, we want to return all the data from the team table and the data from the fan table, but only when a fan has designated a team as their favorite. This highlighted region indicates the matching data for this join. Let's take a look at the query for this join. In our select clause, we specify the name column from the team and fan tables. We use the team table in our from clause. Then we use a left outer join to the fan table. We use left here because the table from which we want all the data is on the left side of the join keyword. Then we use the on clause to indicate the relationship between the two tables. Here, we are saying to join the tables when the ID column of the team table equals the team ID column of the fan table. We can see that each row in the team table is returned, but for teams that have not been specified as a fan favorite, null is returned for fan name. Another way we can do an outer join is with a right outer join. Using the same tables, if we did a right outer join, we would get all of the data from the fan table and only data from the team table when a fan has chosen a favorite team. The highlighted area indicates the data that would be included in this join. To demonstrate a right outer join, we will use the same query as the last example, but we're going to change it from a left outer join to a right outer join. This is a right join because the table from which we want all the data is on the right side of the join keyword. The results now show every row in the fan table, but for those fans who did not choose a favorite team, the team name column is null. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.